Hey guys, Harris here, and Samsung's been the predominant manufacturer for Apple's iPhones and all iOS devices CPUs for quite a while, including the Apple A7 chip that came out with the iPhone 5S. But with the introduction of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, Apple switched over to TSMC, or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, to produce the 64-bit A8 chips. And then this year, with the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, Apple has split the labor between Samsung and TSMC for the new 64-bit A9 chip. Well, theoretically, this shouldn't make a difference because Apple wants every iPhone customer to have the same experience no matter what manufacturer made their processor. That makes sense, right? But it looks like there might be some actual differences. For starters, the Samsung chip is 14 nanometers, while the TSMC chip is 16 nanometers, so there's a size difference. And according to the Geekbench battery test of two 6S's, one with the Samsung chip and one with the TSMC chip, the one with the TSMC got nearly two hours more battery than the Samsung chip. In real world usage, it likely won't be as dramatic as that, but it still poses the question, is the TSMC chip better than the Samsung chip? Looking around the internet, I found that the TSMC chip appears to be slightly more energy efficient, thus being better for battery life, but it's still surprising to see a difference this big. In other benchmark tests, it appears that the TSMC chip is slightly higher in performance as well. Not all the benchmarks are showing this, but some of them are showing a slight increase, up to 10 or 15% better performance uh, on the benchmarks for the TSMC chip over Samsung's chip. I personally have the TSMC chip, and I've noticed that my battery life on the 6S is pretty good, uh, definitely better than the iPhone 6, but I don't have an iPhone 6S with a Samsung chip for a frame of reference to compare it, but basing off the benchmarks and the battery test that we've seen so far, it looks like there could be a difference. But you guys let me know, do you have an iPhone 6S or 6S Plus? Do you have a TSMC chip or a Samsung chip? And how's your battery? If you want to check for yourself which chip you have, I'll leave two methods linked in the description to check out for yourself. So will a software update fix this? Will time fix this? We'll see. So in this video, I really just wanted to share the insight that has been found between the two manufacturers of the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus A9 chips. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.